Hi there, Flat Cap Chef here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to cook a roast chicken. Uh, it's a really simple thing to do um, in terms of timing. I do about 500 grams, uh, 20 minutes per 500 grams, and uh, now 10 minutes, but I'll come back to that in a minute. So, uh, what have we got? We have got a chicken, we've got some onion that I've already sliced into rings, I've got some herbs, you don't have to use herbs. I've got some chicken stock. Again, you don't have to use chicken stock, you can use water if you want to. And of course, I've got my pre-prepared roasting tin, okay, lined with foil. So, prep. Most turkeys, uh, turkeys, chickens will come uh, with their legs connected to the string on here. So, I always free these up. So, sharp knife, take out the string, which is wrapped around. And there we go, throw that to one side. Now, with this chicken, this is an organic chicken, so uh, it tends to be slightly less fatty, but uh, you often find inside here, you'll find sort of a, a chunk of fat. I just take that away. Um, you don't really need it, it's just too excess fat, frankly. Um, this one doesn't have any jib that's inside it. Sometimes you'll find it does in a plastic bag, so double check, don't cook it with them inside, otherwise it will taste horrible because you'll melt plastic, which is not good. Just take those out. A lot of people throw them away, you, but you can use them uh, as part of the stock for your gravy. Now, I always like to think ahead, so I like to make sure it's easy to actually deal with this bird once it's been cooked. So that means that we want to remove what's called the wishbone, okay, which is it sits in here. It creates this bit here. So often there's a, again, there's, there's sort of a flap of fat that sits down there, or skin. Just cut that off, you don't need it. I'm just going to open this up a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to stick my knife in and just cut that away there. Cut that away there. I'm going to leave it. That doesn't matter. So now you can see we've got this bit here. It's like an arch. If you, if you run your finger along there, you'll feel the bone on either side. It comes up, joins there, drops back down again. So I just use my finger to find it, put the knife in, and just run the blade of the knife up and around it. There we go, and you'll see the bone there. I just come underneath a little bit just to break it off. See, it's clean, it's cleaned out there. Up to the top, and the inside as well. Back down the other side, because that's where the other bone is. Push this bit in here, it's a helicopter going over, sorry about that. There we go, scrape down, and again, I take it down there, twist it, so we've got it breaking. It's quite tough sometimes, but there you go, I've got a sharp knife. Now I have the wishbone. There you go, you see it's like that. And I take it up, make sure we've got it cleared. And then what I do is I just twist, okay? Twist like that, like turning a key. And there it is. There's your wishbone out. That means that when you come to cut the breast, you're not going to hit a bone, so you'll get really nice slices off the chicken breast. So that's now done. Some people stuff the bird at this point. I don't. And actually, there are there are conflicting views about whether or not that actually stops the bird from cooking properly. And of course, you don't want undercooked chicken. So I don't do that. Sometimes I'll put a lemon in there, which is fine, uh, but that's okay. I prefer to put the flavour on the outside. So now bring my tray into play and take my bird, drop it in there. Then I've got my herbs and I've got some sage here. Just gonna tear that sage, drop it around, drop a couple of bits inside into the cavity, which is nice. Drop it all around and then I've got some thyme. So again, this is just fresh thyme from my garden, but you can use uh, dried thyme, doesn't matter. Or nothing, you don't have to flavor it. Again, I'm just breaking it up, put some inside, just to add a bit of flavour. And there we go. And then the key bit for me about cooking a chicken is that you actually keep it moist. Uh, because what that does is make sure the meat doesn't dry out. So I use some chicken stock and I just pour it around. You can just make your chicken stock up. I've made this myself. Uh, I'm going to put a video up on how to do that. And there we go. And it's come up to sort of halfway up the wings. You don't want to drown it in it. You're not poaching it. 
uh, you're actually roasting it with a little bit of poaching effect. And then I put some salt and pepper. Um, so I'm going to use a pinch of salt. I want too much. And then some pepper. I'm using this for some ground, already ground pepper here at the moment. There we go. That's done. And I've put some slices of onion in, which just adds a little bit of flavour again. And of course you can use the stock at the end to create your gravy, which is lovely. Right, so this is a two and a half, just over two and a half kilo, so it's going to take about one hour 45. For the first one hour 15, so I'll set my timer, I'm going to keep it covered, so completely covered. And then I'm going to take it out with about half an hour to go, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to baste it with the juices, and then I'm going to pop it back into that oven. The oven's set at 200 degrees, it's around gas mark 8, so it's preheated, um, and then we'll be good to go. So if I just fold this up, fold it underneath so you can see what's going on. And there we go. I just how to, how to do the tent, let's see, let's see if I can move this up a bit. There we go. So bring the two sides together and then just fold them over each other. I'm going to close it right down on the top of the bird because that means that the skin will stick to the foil. And then close up the ends. There we go. Close up the ends. And that's now ready to go in the oven, so we'll be back soon. Okay, so it's now been in its saucy cooking time. Half an hour before the end, I took the foil off, so we got a lovely brown top to it. And I gave it a bit of a baste, just to make sure that the meat stayed really, really moist. So what have we got? There we go, look, you can see here. If I just take this out, which I will now attempt to do, you will see what we have. Here we go. One perfectly cooked chicken. Look, you can see the meat's fall, it's literally falling off. So tender. Um, leave this to rest for about 10 minutes. Um, to keep it warm, all you need to do is put some fresh foil on the top of it and then cover it with a tea towel. So I do that now. And then it's much better if it's actually rested. Oh, I've almost run out of foil. So if you foil over the top, tea towel on top, leave it for about 10 minutes and it'll be perfect. So if you want to see more, then just uh, subscribe. It's easy enough, just press on the button on the, uh, on the channel below there. Um, and I'll be back soon with some more ways to cook. See you soon.